Hey, Jordan and Nancy, how are you guys doing? Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to walk you through a few things to help you guys um, continue on your way to building your sites. So, <clears throat> excuse me, by the way. Um, first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm go we're going to go ahead and take a look at, um, of course, you know, how do you go into your Google Docs and you know, create a selection, uh, I mean, create a collection, uh, a folder, so that way you can throw every all your meetings in there all your documents in there and then after that how do you post them up to a website and then we're going to look at LinkedIn. okay so the first thing you want to do when you open up your google docs you want to create a new collection so a new collection is like a folder okay i'm going to click on collection and i'm going to call this uh bcn uh meetings and click on okay so now down here you'll see my bcn meetings part of my folders here and inside my BCN meetings, I might even want to do another folder, another collection, and call this, uh, what are we, March 2011, okay? So now I have my BCN meeting folders, um, and inside I have the month, whatever, the BCN meetings being held. So now I want to upload a document, and um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use probably our calendar here. It's a PDF that I have, so um, <clears throat> it's a calendar that I want to upload. I'll click on upload here and in here I'm going to select the files to upload it's on my desktop and there it is 2011 um, calendar I'm going to click on open and what I'm going to do is I'm um, down here where it says destination collection I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to where I find <coughs> excuse me once again uh, my BCN meetings as you see here I'm going to pull the little drop down menu and I'm going to click on the March 2011 because that's where I want that file to go. So I'm going to click on OK. And for, instead of leaving it on private, I'm going to make it public on the web. So that way, when it loads, it's automatically ready for me to link. So next thing you know, I'm going to click on Start Upload. And depending on the size, you know, this one uploaded pretty quickly. So now when you have the little green check mark, that means it's ready. Um, if you want, you can even go back to Google Docs here and see that if you go to your um, BCN Meetings folder, click on that, click on the March 2011 folder, you're going to see that it's in there now. So in here, uh, what you want to do, um, right on the right-hand side, you're going to see Actions. So if I want to share this, um, I want to go to Sharing Settings. And when you do that, you're going to see that link up here. So this is the link that um, you want to copy. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. It's Command C. So I'm going to copy this um, URL, and then I am going to go to my um, to the website. So this is Google Sites. And just to run through this one more time, I'm going to go ahead and add a March um, uh, page down here, so that way we can have an agenda, just like similar the way we have it here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and click up here where it says create page and I'm going to, I'm going to title it March 2011 <clears throat> and <coughs> excuse me, it's going to ask whether I want to put it at the top level or under November 2010. Always put it at the top level because then you can arrange it wherever you like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create page. And then now it's ready for me to start editing. Uh, just a reminder about the layout. Click up here, layout, to whatever layout you would like. My recommendation would be this guy right here, the right sidebar. That way you have um, the info about meeting up here. And then down here you can have the agenda. And then of course, you know, you write down the agenda where you can link stuff. And over here, I always would always recommend is your contact info. So, just so you know, I'm gonna type in the word calendar here. And if I want to link once again this calendar uh, or this document here, <coughs> here's the process. Remember how we already went to actions and we went on share. We clicked on sharing settings and we copied this URL up here. So now what I'm gonna do is. <coughs> After I copy it, I'm going to highlight the word that I want to be linked. I go up here to my link toolbar. I'm going to click on link, and then I am going to go here where it says web address, and then I'm going to paste the URL that was given to me here from my Google Docs to my Google Sites. 
And I always do this at the bottom right before you click on OK. I click on this little check mark that says open this link in a new window. Click on OK. And now it's linked. So I hit return and I continue uh, with my agenda. So after all that's said and done, you continue with formatting and doing the rest and you click save. And that is pretty much it for editing. Now, as you see up here, um, you see that the word uh, March is not in there. So how do you edit this portion? Well, after you add the page, remember you can always rewind this video. Uh, you go right here where it says click edit sidebar. So I click on edit sidebar. And then right here where it says navigation, there's an edit button. So I'm going to click on edit navigation. And then right here you see what's going to come out on your navigation on the left hand side. So what I want to do is I want to add a page. So I'm going to click on add page. And right here you see March 2011. So I'm going to select March 2011 page. Click OK. And you see how it's not lined up with the other ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these arrows to line it up. So all I'm going to really do is just click on the indent here twice. And now it's lined up. And then last but not least, I click OK here. And then I click on Save Changes. So up here I can return back to the site. And when I do so, you now see March 2011. Okay? So <clears throat> <coughs> that's from bringing up a doc into Google Docs into linking it to a site. And that's pretty much it. Rewind the video if you want to um, get a review of this. Now what I'm going to show you next is how do we continue formatting uh, the State by Legal Coordinators Network site to match it like Santa Clara's. So of course you need to go to the Santa Clara page and I'll go ahead and um, post this uh, URL to the Santa Clara page so you have it. <clears throat> but let's see where I left off. So I believe I left off on November 19th. Um, I copied everything over it, it just needs to be linked. So we're now at November 19th, so I go over here to November 19th and I see that here they have the BC, BCN agenda for November 19th, 2010. So <clears throat> if you see my cursor here, you see how it goes over the blue line? If you do a right click, oh, that's not going that well, right click, it says open link in new tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, open link in new tab. And it's pretty much a, you know, a site. So what you want to do is you want to copy the URL here. So copy the URL, which is the document. It's just <clears throat> whatever you want to download. Go back here and make sure it matches it. You see how it has the one and the two? So you have to do that formatting. So where it says BCN, November 19th. Did I miss something? Yes, I did. I missed. BC and agenda. That's what I missed up here. Oh, because I put it up there. So there's what I mean by formatting. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to click on edit page. And I'm going to scroll down. And here I'm going to justify it to the left. And just going to bring it down a little bit and call this one. All right? Uh, because that's what Santa Clara has here as one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. And what am I going to link again? I'm going to link the URL to um, this document, which is the link that they give us here. So after I copy that, I highlight the word like I do with everything else. I go up here to my link it, um, toolbar, click on link, click on web address, and then paste the URL there. Click on open this link in a new window and click on OK. And there it is. And then what you want to do is just, you know, have two windows open and you go back and forth. Uh, so you have a PowerPoint file there. And basically everything that's blue is the stuff you're going to have to um, copy and link on over. But you go through the same process just like I did with this one and, of course, continue to format it um, the, way, the way it is here. So um, here, of course, is two. Space. PowerPoint, I believe, is a bullet. And I believe the rest are bullets, right? All the way to improving the education for English learners. So I would do this, improving education for English learners. Highlight that. Click on the little button. So now that way they're all, it looks exactly like it. So this is what you're going to continue to do. But like I said, I pretty much copy everything over. Once you're done with this, let me know when you're done. So that way I can pretty it up and make it look exactly like the other websites that you guys have. Uh, with your logos and <clears throat> you know whatever else you want me to put on don't forget last but not least at the top click on save and um, you're pretty much on your way
If you have any questions, you know where to find me. I hope this helps. Uh, talk to you. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye.